Okay, let's get started. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to see some of you here. And I will share you my presentation named a Hybrid Telemetry Data Backend. Firstly, let me introduce myself. My name is Xu Zhan, and I come from the Huawei Cloud Database Innovation Library. And there was a co-speaker with me whose, she, whose name is Xiao Chun Yang, and she is a professor of the Northeast University in China, and she has been engaged in teaching and researching in the field of data manager and analysis. But I have to announce that she can't be here due to some scheduling conflict. So I will step in to show her part for you. Okay, in my team, there is an open source project named OpenGemini, which aimed to processing the monitoring data on Huawei Cloud. And my presentation will depart in four, four parts. The first is the challenge of the processing of observability data on Huawei Cloud. And the second is OpenGemini as a backend storage solution of open telemetry. And the third, I will show you some key design of the backend storage for logs and metrics. And last, I will show you some evaluation of our system. Okay. There are two types of telemetry data on Huawei Cloud. First is a metric data, which describes the status of the hardware and the software. And it's about 10 million per second. And the total size is about 20 petabyte per day. And another is a log data, is about 85 terabyte per day. So this data is used for some real-time analysis for monitoring, such as alert, anonymous detection, time series insight, and some troubleshooting. For this goals, we introduce a lot of data engine into our system, such as Spark for processing the streaming, and the Dread for the overlap, and uh, some time series database to store the metrics data. And for the logs data, we introduce, we introduce some search engine for full text searching and uh, the log storage. It seems that it can solve some of the problems, but the disadvantages is, is also apparent. Firstly, the mass of data is redundantly stored in the different storage engine. So the cost of the storage must be sensitive. And the second, different data engine has different agent and different collector. So we have a lot of cluster, a lot of software to update, and a lot of cluster to, to scale out or scale in. The operation cost is so expensive. And last, the, when we want to do some correlation analysis, such as drawing the same trace ID of the logs and the trace, that's way it's necessary to pull the whole data out of the data engine and uh, compute them. And the cost of the transformation is so expensive and uh, that's not efficient. So we want to exploring a simple data stack of the data generated and the data collecting and uh, want a uh, unified storage engine to process all of this data. Okay, the next part I will explain the solution of OpenGemini compatible with the open telemetry. For the years, open telemetry has become the standard of the observability, and it provides a unified access protocol and a standard data models for metrics, trace, metrics, trace, and logs. And it provides various SDK, such as C++ and Golang, and uh, it's absolutely open source. 
So that gave us a big opportunity to unify our, our agent and the collector. And there are three ways for us to comfortable with open time entry. First, we call it agent to agent. Some of the search engine choose this way, and the data is, and the two, the two agents are deployed on, a, on the same data source end, and the data is transferred from the open telemetry agent to the search engine backend. And the second, we call the collector to collector. The data is transferred from the open telemetry collector to the time series backend. And the third, this is what OpenGemini choose, is, is we call the collector to the backend. This is, we think this is mostly the native way, because there are just two times of the protocol conversion and uh, passing. Okay, in order to further understand the open time entry format, we have uh, abstract it into three fields, three types of fields. Firstly is uh, tags, which description where the data come from, such as the host name, the host IP, the trace ID, and the span ID. And the next is a time step, which, which describes the data, when the data is generated. And the rest is the columns, which contains the metric value, the low content, and the trace text. And OpenGemini provides the, such the schema to match them. Okay, the next part I will explain how OpenGemini is working for the working for store the logs and metrics. Starting with the metric store, first let me show you about the data partition. The data the metric data is sharding by two types of property. First is a partition key, which is equal to the text sets by default. And the second is a time range. After this, the data from the same data source end is partition, is sharding to the same partition. And there are, and it's convenient for the query that specific the text set and uh, the time range. And there are two types of storage in the shard. The first is a text storage which implement, implement by the invert index. The term of the index is the key value of the text and the position list is point to the data in the metric store. And the metric store is implemented by a columnar layout. And there, are, there is some disadvantage, disadvantage of this system with some, when, the, when it, it can handle the log st data for searching and uh, when the text value is, the cardinality is high, we can, the, the performance well is poor. When it comes to the log store, we introduce a new type of full text index called the CLV index. When the log data ingestion into our system, we tokenize it and uh, sharding it to the shard, and the text set is used to build the tag index, and uh, the token from the logs, logs content is, is, is used to build the CRA index. And uh, the log is as the same the column store layout. So it seems that we can store both the metrics and log data in one system. And I'll show you how it's running. For the full text search, we provide a unified circle engine for the for the all of the queries, when the date, when the circle come into the system, we separated the log searching and the tag filtering by the opti circle optimizer in the index scan stage. If you want to run a log query, 
such as uh, exact, exact, exactly query for, uh, for a keyword, the keyword is searching from the CRV index. And uh, when it comes to the tag filtering, the, 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 the result is searching from the tag index. And the result of them is composed to the uh, position set, which po point to the column, the data in the column store. The traditional implement of the four, four text index is always uh, uh, invert inverted list. And uh, there is a problem of it when the words with a high frequency, the link list of the term will be longer. And uh, with the lower frequency, the, it will be shorter. And this result in this imbalancing of link list result in the in a problem of the fluctuation of the query performance. So our CLV index is aimed to balance the link list and reduce the total size of it. For the right image, it is constructed by the CLV index. CLV index and you can see we sacrificed the number of keys and reduced the total size of the linked list. Even the high frequency word gate has a shorter linked list. This work has published in WebDB and SIGMOD. If you want to know the detail of it, I will send the paper name in the Slack channel. And last, I will show you some evaluation of our system. Starting from the metric store, our OpenGemini has replaced the origin system, which contains the HBase, Dread, Elasticsearch, and OpenTSDB. And we place the origin system and reduce the CPU cost by 16%. But unfortunately, we, we observe that when the tag value, the cardinality of card value reaches 10 million per node, OpenGemini in JSON performance starts to degree. That was, uh, that was the next phase we, we must tackle the, tackle the problem. For the log store evaluation, we compared with a search engine with a one billion data set, and uh, the result is that the index size reduced by 65% and the index build time reduced by 16%. And uh, for the performance of the query, the exact query latency reduced by 75% and the fuzzy query latency reduced by the 16.6%. And the regress query latency reduced by 16.3%. The, the main of, 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 of my speed, of, Optimization is is due to the theory index and our circular engine. Okay. And let's review the roadmap of OpenGemini. Firstly, we in the first phase we position it as a metric store, and we reference a lot of time series, time series DB database design, such as uh, in inward index and the, the storage layout and uh, the uh, compression algorithm. So the metric store, we, we, we can support the unit and uh, float and the string types and uh, provide circle-like syntax and can manage pair beta data. And the next phrase, we position it as a log store there are more data types such as JSON and the text is supported. And uh, we introduce the tokenizer text indexing and text retrieval in our system. And uh, we connect to the open telemetry. And the next phase, we, we want to be uh, the observability backend storage. Firstly, we must in, in, support the tracing data storage and the tangle with a high cardinality problem and uh, support the metrics and log and tracing correlation analysis. 
Okay, if you want, if you want give some feedback, uh, if you want to learn more about the Open Gemini, welcome to the Boss D7. Okay, that's all. Thank you.